What is going on today guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here. Coming at you guys with a very long awaited Sword Art Online deck profile video. So it's right there. Um, new playmat as you guys can see. So this playmat is... I'll just pan out and show you guys. So we have a lot of anime on there. We have lots of good stuff on there. So yeah, you'll probably be seeing this in the next... Uh, Prime until I get a new playmat and decide to switch it up. But yeah, deck profile, I know it's been a really long time since I opened those boxes, but stuff came up, uh, had lots of stuff to do. But now since it's summer, I have a little bit more free time on my hand, so I can uh, get these decks out of the way. Oh, and uh, by the way, the EB11 stuff will be a little bit on hold because I have to go get it and there's issues with the post right now. So yeah, but that's another video for another time. Um, now, onto the deck profile. A quick question, though, for you guys. I am currently using white sleeves for these, but I want to sleeve them up. So with double sleeves, obviously, but first single layer sleeves, I want to decide between either two. These are both festival sleeves. You have an Asuna who's changing, and it won't focus in, but yeah, kind of taking a shower type of thing. And then you have a Kirito and Asuna, which you have previously seen already. Both of them are festival sleeves, and they are quite rare to get, but either way, I would like to know if you can comment down below exactly which one I should get, and naturally, whichever one I do not use, end up using, I will be for sale. So, yeah. If you want to PM me for either or, you can feel free to do that as well. By the way, check out the Facebook page. Be quite helpful, and check us out. So, onto the deck profile. It is yellow, red, and green. A little bit unorthodox because it took so long to get a lot of the cards that I needed. So, yeah. So, starting off with level threes. We run four of the Ozuna... Um, 3-2, really good card. Just general, don't need to say anything more about that card. I believe you guys should know what it does. Run one of these um, new Leafas from SEO2. Uh, really good card. It's a healer. I only, one of the reasons why I only run one is because I only have one. I only pulled one, but also because it's, um, you only need one. So, abilities heal and then climax combos with the um, green climax. This one. And it, what it does is that it, um, upon attack, you can pay one stock and then search your deck for up to two cards. And that's pretty good. Yeah. So two character cards, actually. Just got to be precise. And then for rounding it off, so we play we play nine total. We run four uh, uh, Leafas that are the from SEO1. The abilities are, if there are five or fewer, you can call it in your library. You can call this as a grade two, kind of, level two. And then... You have all your characters other than this chair, I get uh, plus 1500 power and the ability to pay one stock and then discard chair with either net or avatar and then get the ability to give it 3000 and the um, the effect that it cannot be affected by your opponent's uh, chair's card effects. So yeah, this is a really good card. So um, just speaking ratio wise, I only run these five as the like chairs. For the deck for green because i noticed that you only need this at you you want to clock either one of these two at level three but you don't need it any other time because this is the only time you need it so just playing from experience that's how i run it and that's it's worked out perfectly fine because you don't need this to win it's just an extra thing and it's also just a substitute for what i would actually be running if i could get a hold of the cards so we'll move that there uh level twos we only run one we run one lisbeth uh Multi level multiplier. I might end up. Mm, I might end up thinking about adding a level two, another one, or s just swapping this out for the lethal one, which is if you rest, you can encore, and it'll it's a booster as well. But I think that this is just more versatile because of the fact that it can salvage, which I have done in the past. So that's good. And the glare is coming on strong. I don't know why. I'm sorry. And now, oh, this camera's a little off tilted. There we go. My bad. Um, and then for level ones, we run a lot, so we run. Just move these to the side. Three of these Ozuna beat sticks. So the four five, if it kill reverses something, it gets a card marker underneath of it, and then gains a level and fifteen hundred power. Really strong. You want to see these. That's why you want run them at three. You just want to use them as beat sticks. And then on top of that, it's really good that you just run multiples because. You'll see later on why, even though it might be dead late game, it's actually not dead because it applies lots of pressure, and you'll see why in a second. So, a lot of people play Asuna Invitation to Party, but a lot of people in Japan and uh, 
have discovered this new card that is really good now because of SEO Volume 2 and more precisely because of the PRs, but now I understand why and it's because of this card. It's Elizabeth that was in, released in SEO 1 that is an uncommon that has the ability that reads, when this card attacks, you can pay one stock and then give all other Cheras plus 2,500. So then even though this card won't have a card marker underneath, you can attack it and then you activate, you can attack first with this card, activate the ability, give plus 2,500. So then this is already at 7K. So then if you also have the Ozuna boosters, it'll be at 7.5 or at least 8K, which is pretty high already. And even like this card, if you have a, and on top of that, if you have the climax, you have to have the climax activated. So it's a gate. So it's, it's at 9K probably. So then it could probably run over most level twos or level uh, ones that your opponent has. So it's really strong regardless of the like phase of the battle except for when it's level three then that might be really bad which is the only time but yeah really good card uh solid you want to see uh you might want to i've been considering cutting it down to three but whenever i do i'd rather have four so you can cut this down if you want to three and then add the ozuna encore which is a one one which is also what i've been thinking about or the ozuna six five one one that uh, gains 1,000 for every stock. But I still like seeing four because I don't run Ozuna Invitation to Party because this is my Climax combo. Then we run four Elizabeth uh, Changers, I mean Changing. So this card's just a basic 6-5 beater for, well, five, 5K, uh, 500 for every, um, whatchamacallit, Avatar or Net that is in your um, stage. So it's usually 6-5 body because even if you don't have like boosters or anything, you just fill up the slots with back things here so that you have that later on. That's what I usually end up doing. So I fill up the slots. So that's not it. We also run three blockers. Now the reason we run three blockers compared to last time is because we want this to go off. So if it blocks, if you block it, then you get to reverse something and you'll add another uh, marker underneath, which is a big reason why we run more than two blocks in this deck. And uh, usually with the salvaging ability, it's really good because they're kind of weak and you only run the one level two so you want to have lots of these see these cards a lot and yeah so that's uh seven eleven fourteen fourteen level ones so a lot of level ones and then we run 17 level zeros so we'll start off with yellow uh three three uh ozuna sleeping on sofa pretty standard three five body really good card um it really helps you with acceleration to level one because of the fact that even though you get a climax or an event it'll help you it's just that you need to watch out for when it's later on in the game you might not want to play this because it could be risky to play it to climax and die or something but usually that's when i hold off and i just clock it or i just don't use it at all because i usually have other cards in hand uh three of the ozuna boosters a uh, really good card you might consider this running to four um, I can show you a different variation in a second once I finish doing this and I'll talk about my level zero changes. Uh, two searchers. I noticed that with every deck right now so far, I've just switched out from three to two because two is more consistent. You only need to see one in the game to activate early on. So you only need the two because it clogs up at three and you don't want to see it early on because it's become a two five vanilla first, like first two turns. Then we run two, uh, Celica um brainstormer really good card really powerful keep this in the back row enough said because you can rest it with that and yeah uh three suiciders bombs uh 4k 4k accelerator pretty good you can use this card i only run four because i run this card and i run another card which i'll show you just right now and three kiritos uh solo players the um it's a good card i run at three just because i want to see it but i don't want to have a lot of it i don't want my hand clogged with it because Late game, this card sucks, and yeah, so it's good for the beginning. It gains 15 if it's the only card, so 4k, and then it gains one level, so then it can't be killed by a suicider, and it gives you hand hand advantage because you get to hold on to more hand, more cards in hand, but after turn like one or two, you s I find myself that I just don't care, and then you just rush the opponent by calling a bunch of your level zeros out. But yeah, usually the opponent's going to try to get rid of this as early as possible, but it's good. So... Uh, what could be a change in the level zero up lineup would probably be adding another one of these boosters and then reducing all of these down so that you have only two. So you'd only play uh, two. Uh, well, you have four of these and then you just play two of these. So this is a this is a new 
card that came out of SEO2. So it's a 2 5 body. Its ability is um, when it's played, it gains 1500 for the turn. So it's just for that turn. So it'll be a 4K body. And it's pretty good. So it's not, it doesn't kill anything or anything, but you know, it doesn't kill you per se as this one would, but it's still pretty good. But I find that three is fine. I might try out four again because I noticed that four was clogging a lot, which is why I bumped it down. But yeah, so that's that. And then for events, we run the two, one, one, three, five blocks. St pretty standard, um, pretty powerful card. And then for climaxes, we run three of the green climax combo with the Leafa from earlier on. I can find her. Yeah, that one. So we run only three because we want to have enough room to run five gates. So one gate of your choice if you want to choose anything. I just find that this one looks a little bit cooler. And then four gates of this. You have to play four of these. These are the new promo card that came out. And it's the... Uh, I don't think it'll, it'll focus in. So I'll just read you the card text. It's a... Uh, well, it's number 83. It's a promo. Uh, from SAO S26, so SAO number two. And what it does is that it used to be a card, it's the climax combo for this card, and this card used to have a 2K1, like I mean not a 2K1, but a two soul one card, but because of the changing, this card has become a lot better because of the fact, sorry, this card became a lot better because of the fact that it's a gate and it gives 1,000 and then a soul to everything. So yeah, it's really strong now, and that's why I prefer this over Azuna Invitation to Party, because it allows me to run the 2k ones while still having a Climax combo for Gate. Now, um, speaking exactly of what I would want to get rid of, because that's why I've been holding off on this video for so long, it would probably be the green cards. Now, this, this deck is really consistent as it is, but I would just say that if anything, you might want to switch these th these out for something else. So what I would switch out would be, hang on, I can probably get the cards and yeah. Now exactly what I wanted to switch prior to doing this video would be uh, the following changes. There you go, there, there. So I would probably wanna switch this out for one of these. So this ability is, uh, she doesn't heal, but she gains one thousand five hundred. She gains five hundred for every net or avatar character. So she's an. She's usually eleven five, and she has the ability to pay one stock and burn, which is really powerful, because it gives you a precise damage, like um, killing ability. Oh yeah, and this is the uh, Ozuna one one that I was talking about earlier that you can maybe run if you want. Um, but yeah, and then for climaxes, you would probably want to run over that. You'd run one this because. You'll probably play four of the elite Silicas, um, like a younger sister Silica, which is the ability to pay, it's a sal it's a healer, and then it climax combos with this. So you pay one and then you get to salvage and put the top, any card onto your um, opponent's top deck as so that you can do precise killing damage with like this and all that type of stuff. But yeah, guys, uh, this has been my SAO deck profile. Apologies for the such the long wait. But yeah, it's finally out here, and uh, you know, make sure to tell me which ones you want. Anyways, guys, this has been Tony from Team Divine Pro, signing off. Bye.